here to talk about awesome cars. You may want to stick around for the whole video. And you may want to subscribe and hit the bell because we do things differently here. We have a lot of fun and we are just getting started. Let's take a drive. Looks like Toyota dealers picked the wrong time to get really greedy with the long-awaited launch of the 2020 BMW Z4. I mean Supra. And I mean a really long time. A sperm can now drink alcohol since the last time we've seen a Supra in the United States. That's right, 21 long years. Firstly, let me mention that the pricing for the base model 2020 Supra comes in at just over $50,000. And if you want a decently appointed version, it's going to come after 60000 of your hard-earned ducats. That's right, $60,000. In your dreams, it seems like all Toyota dealers are perpetuating their filthy used car salesman stigma and getting super greedy with their pricing. Here's a dealer who listed their Launch Edition Supra at $200,000. That's right, $200,000. A full $140,000 over MSRP. Make no mistake, the 2020 Supra is an awesome car, but $140,000 markup? It looks like looking across the various dealers, you're gonna find markup anywhere between $40,000, $50,000. Most dealers are selling them at between $80,000 and $100,000. You mad, bro? Did I mention they're slightly overcharging? Now, I read this dealer did sell it for less than that, but still over $100,000, AKA double MSRP somebody bought it. Bro, that's right, someone paid double MSRP for a car that's probably going to be ubiquitous next year. Kind of like Mustangs are. Hey, but we don't pay double MSRP for Mustangs, except for the GT500. So as I said, most dealers are charging between eighty dollars and $100,000 for these Supras, which is more money than Lexus's own LC500, which is a $92,000 luxury coupe with a 471 horsepower V8 pushing the pavement. Markup must factor into this analysis. Whether you like it or not, you know who you are. Yeah, that's right, you, no, not you, not him. No, you, that guy back there. No, not you, you sit down, no, him, over there, yeah, you. <laughs> so that's $60,000 with basic options that you're paying for a 335 horsepower car. Now, I'm not knocking the 335 horsepower. I would like a little bit more, yes. But it's not bad given the weight of the car. It's a pretty lightweight car. And given the reported zero to 60 dash of 3.8 seconds, I think Toyota probably underrated the car. Only Dino will tell. So 60K for 3.8 seconds, zero to 60. Hmm, does anybody else know any other cars that are coming out anytime soon that may be able to compete with that performance? And with the Supra's massive markup, is there a suitably specced car that's coming out anytime soon that could even shatter that zero to 60 record? Say, under three seconds? It's on the tip of my tongue. Hot C8! Excuse me, something in my nose. I'm allergic to markup. So let's talk specs. The 2020 Supra is an inline six single turbo engine that comes in around 3,400 pounds. And by the way, how can the 6.2 liter V8 Corvette C8 be 31 pounds lighter than this? I don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't know. So anyway, the Supra, as I mentioned, has a 335 horsepower and 365 pound-feet of torque. It trades cogs with an eight-speed automatic. No manual option. But there might be one in the future. So let's look at the lineup. Firstly, we have a couple of bad seeds. We like to complain in the comments, hey bro, why aren't you comparing apples to apples? If you're one of those guys, I'm comparing apples to oranges because these are the cars that I'm actually thinking about buying. You don't think anybody's out there cross shopping a Corvette C8 or a GT500 or a Supra? You think everybody is within the confines of a specific class? No, we buy awesome cars, guys. You know that. It's that simple, bro. We love cars here, and so do you. You ever decide between eating a hamburger and a pizza? Then you understand what I'm saying. Don't be mad, bro. I love me some pizza. And some hamburger. Now keep in mind, I'm only including new models that are trending right now in a GT350 because... GT350. You know what I'm saying? Am I making sense? Am I making sense? I personally think I'm making sense, but what do I know? You want apples to apples? I'll give you apples to apples. We're gonna do a price per horsepower comparison as well as a power to weight ratio comparison. Let's get it all!
All right, right off the bat, guys, sorry, I'm gonna have to tell you that the Super loses badly. That's not to say it's not a cool car, because it is. It may have a trouble keeping up on the track with high-speed cornering because of its smaller wheelbase, but it's still an excellent car. All right, so I'm looking at a Corvette C8, of course, a GT500, of course, a GT350, of course, and a Toyota Supra. The 2020 Corvette C8 costs just under $60,000 for the base model. It weighs 3,366 pounds, and it's 495 horsepower. The GT350 costs around the same. It has 526 horsepower and weighs 3,760 pounds. The GT500 is 760 horsepower. <laughs> cost $74,000 and yes I was offered a no markup deal it's 760 horsepower the average super cost you cannot get it without markup is $90,000 that's for 335 horsepower and 3,397 pounds now just for fun I'm gonna go ahead and pretend that we can get a Supra at MSRP still loses in the horsepower per dollars and the power to weight ratio. It comes in decidedly last. And guess who comes in first? On both. That would be the GT500. <laughs> followed actually by the GT350 and then the Corvette C8. In terms of price to horsepower, the Supra's coming in at $269. Versus the GT500's $97. Lower is better. The GT350 is at $112, and the C8 is at $121. Isn't this fun? In terms of power to weight ratio, it's one horsepower per 10 pounds of vehicle weight. Bigger is better. The Supra is one horsepower per 10 pounds of vehicle weight. The GT500 ratio comes in at 2.0. Followed by the GT350 at 1.4. The Corvette edges out the GT350 at 1.5. But the GT350 still sounds like this. You know, and if we just looked at the base price of the Super without any markup of $50,000, the price for horsepower is still $149, still coming in at last place. Now this is not to say that the Supra is not a super cool car, because it is. But given the competition, the new C8 coming out, the GT500 coming out, 2020 GT350s and 350Rs have been renewed, I don't think this is a good time for them to be charging $40,000, $50,000, $100,000, $140,000 over MSRP. Not a very smart move, Toyota. And I know the dealers can make their own decisions, but there's got to be some level of sanity here. Some kind of reality check. Some kind of checks and balances. Anyway, to each his own. We all love talking about cars. That's why we're going to be discussing it down in the comments. So don't hate the player, hate the game, or something like that and leave a comment with your thoughts below. All right, guys, always remember the motto, always be kinder than necessary. See you in the next one. Here's the dealer that listed, here's the dealer that listed their 2000, here's the dealer that listed, here is, here's the dealer that listed their, here's the dealer that listed their launch edition, here's the dealer who listed their launch edition Supra at two. Here's the dealer that listed their launch edition, Here's a dealer that listed their long. Here is a dealer that listed it there. Here's a dealer that listed their long. Son of a. Hi. <laughs> here's a dealer who listed their Supra. Here's a dealer who listed their launch edition. Here's a dealer who listed their launch edition. No! Here's a dealer who listed. Here's a dealer who listed their launch. Here's a. Here is a dealer who listed their launch edition. Here's a dealer who listed their launch. <laughs> Here's a dealer who's selling their launch edition. No! Launch, launch edition. <laughs> here's a dealer who's here's a dealer who listed their launch edition Supra at two hundred thousand dollars.